I am particularly excited about today's episode. In today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about a subject that literally changed the course of my life. When I got into coaching, I wanted to become a financial literacy coach, help people learn how to invest their money and achieve their financial freedom. But as I started talking to my community members, my audiences on my YouTube channel and just people in general, I realized that there's a much bigger problem that needs to be taken care of before people get into the world of financial literacy. The problem that I want to tackle is money mindset and money blocks. Now, what exactly are money blocks is something that I'm going to cover in detail in today's episode. So make sure that you are ready with your notepad or at least make notes digitally and listen to this entire episode or watch it because it's going to give you a lot of food for thought. Hello, I'm Manish Ahuja, founder of Paycheck to Profit. I'm a money mindset and financial literacy coach building a community called Paycheck to Profit. This podcast manifest with Paycheck to Profit is a part of that entire community. And I am here to help people build a new relationship with money, eliminate their money blocks, learn how to manifest more wealth into their life using law of attraction. Hence, this podcast manifest with Paycheck to Profit and give people the confidence to achieve the financial freedom that they keep running after. And why is it so difficult for most people to try and achieve it despite putting in so much effort without taking too much time let's jump to the topic of what exactly is money blocks now money blocks is a a belief system it's a limiting belief that people have inculcated in their mind now where do these limiting beliefs come from it's actually coming from your past experiences the stories that you have subconsciously kept telling yourself repeating to yourself which now feel like reality Now, what exactly are these stories? What exactly are these money blocks may differ from people to people because obviously we are all living our own individual lives. But in my community, I talk about 24 money blocks, which are most common. Now, these money blocks could look like money does not grow on trees or I can't invest because I don't come from the management or the commerce background or I don't know how to invest because I am a doctor or an engineer and I was never taught how to invest money. And I don't want to invest and lose a lot of money because I can't put my finances at risk. Now, all of these are money blocks. Every money block comes from a different thought process, from a different root cause. But what is more important to understand is that for every money block, there's a solution. And for you to understand what these solutions are, you have to invest time in understanding how money works, how money mindset works, how these money blocks work. For that, the easiest thing for you to do is to stay in the right environment. And I would like to invite you to the environment of Profit Clan. What is Profit Clan? Profit Clan is an online newsletter community that I've created where I keep giving out valuable content on social media and share about all my new content and episodes that are coming out. And also just write emails for my community telling them about what processes am I working on or what experiences that I've come across. If I'm also doing some sort of a master class, I share all my information on my profit to, to with my profit plan. In the uh, description below, below the like button, you will find two links. One is to become a part of the profit plan. And if you would like to receive all these updates directly on your WhatsApp, there's an option to get subscribed to the WhatsApp channel too. Both these options are absolutely free. And I promise to give you a lot of content which will help you increase your money vibrations. So make sure that you become a part of the Profit Clan community on email and or on WhatsApp as per your preference. The main thing that you need to understand is this: these money blocks is a belief system and beliefs can change. So how do you actually work towards changing your belief system? How do you change your thought process about money? How do you eliminate these money blocks? How do you release these money blocks? The idea is simple. It's a step by step process. So I'm just going to tell you all the steps one by one the first step is to set the intention now what happens is only when you set the intention let's say if you want to get fitter you have to set the intention of wanting to lose weight or wanting to eat healthy or reducing your consumption of junk food similarly you have to set the intention of changing or wanting to change your relationship with money you have to be open towards discovering your money blocks you have to understand your emotions associated with money how do you feel when a subject of money comes up You have to discover how these money blocks are holding you back. Are they making you let go of opportunities? Are they making you feel underconfident about how you deal with money? 
you also have to spend time around positive people you have to work on every money block one at a time you have to get coaching it's basically changing your relationship with money by changing your thought process and how do you change your thought process by understanding that there is a need to change the thought process to begin with you reaching this point in this podcast in itself tells me that you have the drive and the will to want to change your thought process and thought process around money and release all these money blocks and i really congratulate you for being such being the person that you are because in today's world most people are just busy focusing on entertainment getting that next dopamine release they are avoiding the whole concept of money which is dragging them into much bigger money problems that is debt or feeling more insecure about money or just playing the catch up game with the joneses and spending their money on things that are not making them happy rather they are dragging themselves unknowingly or knowingly into a much bigger financial mess you also need to understand that this entire transformation is a process it took me good 4 or 5 years to change my money mindset change my thought process with regards not only with money but also life i come from a completely different background i have shared my story in my earlier episode so if you've just got an interview to pay, uh, manifest with paycheck to profit please i request you to listen to my earlier episodes where you'll get more perspective about me in today's episode i would like to share one very simple incident which is despite coming from a business family despite coming from a family which has been financially free all my life i realized that my thought process with regards to money was very 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 scarcity oriented and why was it scarcity oriented because coming from a business family i was never given any sort of training with regards to how do i budget for money how do i learn to manage money why is that because we come from abundance now as a kid how much money would you need but as you keep growing you will realize that money is infinite but your access to money is definitely going to be finite until you start earning your money and until you realize that responsibility you don't have any responsibilities as a kid as a teenager as a person in your 20s as your responsibilities grow you do realize that the whole approach towards money is going to be very different from what approach you were given or what approach you were already installed in in your earlier life now all of a sudden that change got me really stressed with regards to money i also unfortunately managed to fail in one in my first business that made me all the more insecure about money hence it was a process even for me for me to change my money mindset for me to realize that there is so much work that i need to do on myself on my attitude on understanding how business works on understanding how i need to help people through this coaching industry and help them release their money blocks so it's a process you cannot expect to change everything in a day or a week or a month even if somebody tells you it's that they are going to help you change the way you look at money in a month they are probably trying to you know run a fast buck around you and don't get into that sort of a situation you've lived with your money blocks for years decades even maybe and the grip is so strong that you have to be patient with it you have to take one small step at a time you have to understand the right approach you need to understand what money block is bothering you first and what approach do you need to take to release the grip of that money block your first money block may be most difficult for you to get rid of but the moment you get rid of your first money block you'll realize that oh the second one is getting a little easier the third one is getting a lot easier by the time you reach your fifth or the sixth money block it becomes more of a cake walk and then you realize that this is a cycle that is going to keep going i would really like to recommend you to listen to an earlier episode which in where i have spoken about how do you learn to attract success and abundance that is also going to give you a different approach towards attracting abundance is not as difficult as you feel again that is a process when you start focusing on how do you attract abundance you'll automatically start focusing less on what existing money blocks are holding you back once you start focusing on your abundance your the grip of your money block is automatically going to start getting a little loose because your focus is going to go towards attracting more opportunities attracting more possibilities learning how to get in touch with better people change the circle of people that you are around so 
definitely listen to that episode after you're done with this episode don't punish yourself this is something that I would really really urge and request you to do as i said it's a journey everybody goes through that different processes understand that it is absolutely natural for people to feel this way for people to feel insecure about money for people to get fearful about the situation that they are in but staying in that situation or that position is your choice and unfortunately people don't have the right direction to go to which makes them stay there and that is very 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 negative place to be in i would really like you to understand that if you've stayed with me in this episode till this point you really have what it takes for you to change the relationship that you have with money so please do something about it get coaching let me consolidate the entire process for you all over again your money blocks are just your belief systems around money which have been built based on your past experiences the kind of mindset that you have had based on the ecosystem that you've been around your personal attitude it is going to be a journey for you to get rid of your money blocks by setting the right intention discovering your money blocks one by one discovering how they are affecting you work on them one at a time change the kind of people that you're spending your time with so that you can have more healthier discussions around money understand the whole process of money from a different lens and get coaching if you feel that this is too overwhelming and you would want somebody to hold your hand and give you a step by step process i know this entire subject may be too difficult or maybe too a little overwhelming for people to grasp all at once in just 11 and a half minutes please get in touch with me on social media you'll find my handles in the description below below the like button ask me your questions follow me on instagram and all the other social media platforms so that you can get access to more information that i have to give you as i said please become a part of the profit clan and the whatsapp updates if you found value from this episode i have two requests for you please give a five star review to this episode and this podcast based on the application that you're listening this to this podcast to because that one review or one five star review is going to take you just a couple of minutes but that review will allow this podcast to reach out to a much larger audience who knows your five star review is probably going to help somebody else discover this podcast and help them achieve their financial freedom and you you are going to be the catalyst to help somebody else achieve the life of their dreams that they desire you hold a lot of power with just a couple of minutes so please do that please take a screenshot of this and share it on all the social media platforms instagram twitter and linkedin being my preferred choices tag pay to pro and mr emojical which is my personal id and i would be more than happy to amplify your story to my followers as well take one step at a time please stay connected listen to all the past episodes if you have any questions with regards to the whole concept of money mindset money blocks financial literacy investment opportunities just reach out to me on social media ask me your question and i'll be more than happy to help you be mindful consume positive content identify your emotions around money and just spend as much time as possible around more positive people thank you so much for giving me your time i'll now see you in the next episode of manifest with paycheck to profit the podcast releases every monday 6 am ist take care keep smiling keep going keep growing thank you so much